And we're about to show you guys how to get your A day started right with a little tailgating cooking. We are having some cheeseburgers today with a bacon jam. Oh, that sounds good. Cook your burgers any way you want them, grill them. Big fat ones, a small one, doesn't matter, does it? Nope. Okay. I actually made sliders and I cooked them on my flat lodge skillet on my burner. It worked great. Okay. But for the bacon jam, we're gonna use my burner and just a regular lodge iron skillet. Now the burner itself can be purchased here at Sanford. It, it can, okay. and it's portable. You can take it anywhere. So I've gotten us a little into it because it's sort of a lengthy recipe. So what I did was earlier, I chopped some Ziegler's bacon into one inch pieces. Bacon. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. And I rendered the fat off of it and browned it and then drained that on a paper towel. Mm -hmm. And then I chopped several onions and I've started to caramelize them down here. And then you and I are gonna finish the recipe off there. Well, let's do it. All right. If you'll add the brown sugar in for me. All right, just put the whole thing in here. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a cup and a I half of brown that. sugar. And then in that other container is some thyme and some crushed red pepper. If you'll add that in for me. And look, I'm gonna take half the credit for this, Debbie. Y you always get the credit. <laughs> we cook together. Well, you cook, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually will cook down for 15 or 20 minutes mm -hmm. and get sort of like a jam consistency. That's why they call it bacon jam. It's starting already to look good. Too. Exactly, so in the very end, after it's cooked down, we're gonna add in that bacon, dump that in for me. Wow. And some balsamic vinegar. And that just cooks down and all that goody, yummy goodness soaks into that bacon. And I actually have some finished bacon jam there. You wanna try one on the burger? I would burger? love to try one. I think you're gonna love it. So right. let me fix you one. And with this, I don't think you need ketchup or mustard or lettuce or anything like that. This bacon jam is going to make... It make, looks just oh, like jam, too, wow. you know? Wow, isn't it? Looks like a preserve that your grandma made. Exactly. Check that out. Roll, Roll Tide. You can really taste that Ziggler bacon in here, too. It's all good and crunchy. Mm, it's mm, so good. That. So right. good. That combination with our cool tools from Sanford and our Lodge cookware, no telling what all you can make. <laughs>